Hello everyone, today we will introduce the inter-ramp compliance feature. Slopes are the focus of safety production monitoring in open pit mines. If the slope angle is too large, the soil will collapse, and if the slope angle is too small, land resources will be wasted. LiDAR 360 software provides a slope analysis tool. You need to click the mine inter-ramp compliance function on the toolbar, as shown in the figure. It includes five functional modules, specified data, auto-create cross-section, manual generate cross-section, compute, and report. First, you need to click specified data, and after opening the window, you need to enter boundary file, segments file, as-built surface, crest line file, tow lines file. Exit this module first. Boundary file is the slope range vector data which is used to determine the range of the slope to be monitored, as shown in the blue line in the figure. Segments file is a vector line segment parallel to the overall direction of the slope steps, as shown in the purple line in the figure. Both data can be produced in the vector editor module of LiDAR360. As-built surface is a 3D model of the mining area in OBJ format which can be converted to a model in OBJ format according to the triangulation model in TIN format. You need to click Tools, Model Conversion, and convert Light TIN to OBJ on the toolbar. Click the plus button in the pop-up window. Input the TIN model. and the output model in OBJ format as shown in the figure. The generation of slope crest and bottom line files was introduced in the previous section. After preparation, specify all the files. Click OK after the default settings, and the software will generate slope interval strips as shown in yellow line in the figure. You can turn off the vector layer such as the bottom line of the slope to observe the cross section. There are two ways to generate cross section based on stripes. Manual generation is introduced first. First, you need to click the manual generate cross section button. Manual generation means manually selecting the cross-section to participate in the analysis. Using this method, the characteristics of the mining area model can be combined to observe and the slope interval with specific characteristics can be selected. Find a level that is closer to the middle of the slope and draw along. When you move the mouse to the yellow strip, the cross-section to be selected will turn red. Click the red cross section and a blue strip will be generated on the right cross section. Click again and the generated section line will disappear. You can generate section lines by repeatedly clicking and generate all cross sections participating in the analysis at a certain interval. You can click the Manual Generate Cross-Section button again to cancel this function. The following introduces the second way to generate cross-section. You need to click the Auto Generate Cross-Section button, a pop-up window. Set stripes according to parameter 6. The software will generate a cross-section at every 6 stripe position section. The automatically generated cross-section is shown as the blue line. After generating the section line, you need to click the Compute button to automatically perform SNOPE analysis.
After analysis is complete, you can see that the red line in the figure is the slope. On the left side of the interface is the profile diagram window and the currently selected profile will be displayed in red. On the right side of the interface is the slope analysis result diagram corresponding to the selected profile in which the angle of each slope step and the width of the ramp are marked. You can view the slope analysis diagram corresponding to each slope based on the compliance detection results between ramps. It is possible to visually see ramps that violate regulations and have potential safety hazards in the slope and give warnings and retrifications to them. You can click the report button to output the analysis results in PDF format.